Sculptus Pro for ZBrush 2018 is an extremely useful feature. It is amazing. So what it basically does is as you sculpt with it on, it creates more geometry. So as you can see right there, it's creating this geometry. It is enabled very simply with one click of a button. It's just simply click right up there. And if that's not available because you have custom UI, you can go to Stroke, Sculptures Pro, and you have it right there as well. And you can change the different settings and things like that. The size of the brush affects the different types of polygons that will be created. The bigger the brush, the bigger the polygons and the less detail, as you see there. The smaller the brush, the more detail you get. So if you like use damn standard or something small like that, it's gonna cut into it and give you a lot of detail, which is really cool. If you hold shift, it'll actually remove geometry and merge it together. Now that is so amazing. Instead of having to cut out this nose, mask out this nose, fill holes, I just hold shift within a matter of seconds. I have a completely different feel and style to this. Let's say I want a different nose. So I can just go ahead and start to pull out this nose using Sculptress Pro. I can go ahead and turn this intensity down a bit. And right there, you can see, I mean, it's, it's still pretty rough, but a matter of seconds, I'm getting a different looking nose. And whether I want to go that direction or not, these ears, that's how I made these ears. I just basically pulled out geometry. Think about hands, arms, toes, teeth, eyes, anything. Uh, right here, let's just go ahead and try and add some bone structure around the, the brows here. And you can see, do you like that? Do you not like that? And within a matter of seconds, I can see if I want to keep this or not. I, I can quickly go back. Um, but if you like it, you can go forward. Now you also have this cool button called uh, draw size, save the, save the size of the brush. So if I change brushes and click this on and change the size and then switch back, do you see how my brush size changed? And then go back to this clay buildup and, this, and the brush size is big. Uh, you can also change dynamic based on brush, whether or not you wanna keep it dynamic. And so that just makes the workflow that much quicker. And so it's so cool. Um, you, you can see that I'm just basically getting rid of this really fast, playing around with the forms, and that's the whole point of this. How, I, how I'm going to basically use this is to play around with forms and, 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 and get what I want. Look how I'm just holding shift and changing this. If I wanna make this into gills or fins, watch how quickly I can do this. I just sketch this out and it's done. And completely different from the base mesh that we started with. So you can take one single base mesh and change it. Now there's a lot of different brushes right here. You can see me playing with a snake hook too, which is different because as you pull, it'll go straight to the camera or if you kind of drag it, it'll go in different directions. Good for teeth, good for ears, good for horns, good for anything. Fingers, let's go ahead and hit this. This is called the snake sphere and it's a cool brush too. It gives it, so it's basically a sphere. And so again, I can use this for fingers or toes or things like that. This is changing how I do organic modeling completely. And it really, something that I could do in probably two hours. I sculpted a pretty detailed face in about 30 minutes or so. Not perfect, but I got the nose and the eyes and the lips and the ears in a matter of moments instead of minutes. It was really cool. Another feature that Sculptures Pro offers is the ability to actually color with poly paint. And the smaller the brush, the more detailed the paint because it's changing the geometry underneath. What I'm going to use this for is I'm going to basically create different masks that I want and I can make them detailed in spite of my base mesh not being very detailed. I can use these masks to extrude clothing. I can use these masks to um, create straps on weapons or or things like that. And I, I could use it just basically for poly painting. If I, if I need a little bit of extra detail, I could turn this thing on and I don't need to try and subdivide my model a ton. I can just do it like that. So that's pretty much it. It is a game changer. I hope that you use it to great effect. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you have any questions, how you're using this. Go ahead and shoot me out some pictures of things that you're making on my on my Twitter account. I love to see uh, how that how that's used. Thank you so much. Have an awesome day. And ZBrush, thank you so much.